Well, hey guys, welcome back to the Smith Family Ranch. We're just doing a pasture check. Wanted to show you how the pasture is growing since we did the Greg Judy method of rolling out hay bales. Well, the pasture is a little bit behind this year compared to last year. Last year, on this date, we actually had them already on this summer pasture. So we're a little behind simply because we left them on here a lot longer than what we normally did following the Greg Judy method. And so we're out here just kind of inspecting things. We had um, the local farm and supply company come out, fertilize, and put down some weed killer. And so I'm coming out here. He said it would take about two weeks before we kind of notice anything, but they're good people, obviously, because they under-promised and well over-delivered because we're already starting to see signs of most of the weeds getting killed already, which is good. A couple of the hay bales that we rolled out, you can definitely see 100% where they were, uh, where we actually rolled out compared to next to it or on either side of it. You can't see much grass at all. So you can see right here, right here, you probably can't even see it on camera, but right here is where a hay bale was rolled. It's nice and long grass here, nothing over... Right where Buddy is standing now. Nothing here and nothing over here. Not a whole lot of grass. And you can see it over here too. There's a hay bale that was rolled out right here. You can see nice long grass out over here. Yeah, we there's did. There's nice long grass over here. Mm -hmm. um, so... This is a cheap, easy way you got to feed. If you have cows or goats or anything that needs hay and you need a pasture, this is definitely something that works uh, very well because most of the time, especially with bahia grass, they let it get long enough where there's seeds in there. Um, so when you roll them out, it's going to plant them. Um, and so definitely works. Uh, next year, or th later this year, we do plan on buying Greg Judy's trailer. Um, that he sells. It's a hand roller trailer. So you can do it with a uh, tractor. You can do it with a uh, four wheeler, side by side, regular car, truck. So we're going to get that so we can get more precise on exactly where we want things um, out here because this is going to need more attention this winter. Um, I can already tell. But hopefully, with the weed killer that we put down, um, some of this good grass will stay and thrive and spread is kind of what my hope was and that's why we went ahead and went with weed killer this year instead of the natural just kind of speed up the process a little bit so these weeds are already dying which is awesome you can see their color is turning they're wilting and they're starting to wilter some of the yellow flowers like over here these were vibrant just three days ago, nice and perky and tall, and now they're not. There's some bigger um, flowers that we'll show you. Tall weed was nice and vibrant and growing, which we don't want, and it's dying. So the weed killer has definitely helped. Um, we're hoping to get more grass out here this year. Out here, this is the, the rear end of our property. This is the section that pretty much 100% got destroyed by army worms uh, two years ago. Um, and it hasn't recovered like I was hoping. So we've really spent some time and now some money to come out here and try to revitalize this. Um, those army worms did a killer on our property. They ate about 75% of this back pasture. Um, but we're following Greg Judy's method pretty much to a T on the winter with the hay bale. We're going to rotationally graze this year out here again um, and see what kind of progress we make. And I can almost guarantee we will be out here rolling hay again this winter. Um, hopefully I'll take them off sooner though. If I can get more precise on our hay bale unrolling then we can get them out here, um, off here sooner. I think that's why we're behind more than anything. I think last year we took off in December. We took off the cows in December 
this year it was February. So they've had two months off of here. A um, little over two months now. That's the hope is we're going to let the grass grow a little bit longer. Maybe in a week or two we'll reevaluate, see how the grass is, and get them out here again. So thanks for watching. Good boy, go get it. Yeah, go get it. Come on. Run it, go get it. I should probably go save Gus. Uh, <laughs> <baseball> player. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Are you a baseball player? Huh? <laughs> I like it.